Revolutionizing healthcare will allow us to improve our ability to treat, to diagnose, and to ultimately prevent disease. One of the elements of this, of course, is our ability to provide sequencing across the entire spectrum of users, from the very highest throughput requirement, where our HiSeq system is positioned, down to our brand new launch of MySeq, the first personal genome sequencer. And the concept of the MySeq product was to make uh, sequencing much more broadly available, to do this uh, for the individual lab, to personalize it, to make the instrument uh, fit better in the lab by decreasing the physical footprint uh, of the instrument overall, by making it more automated so that the less experienced users would be able to get access to DNA sequencing, to continue to broaden the breadth of applications, to bring down all the applications that we've already developed for HiSeq and have those run on the same platform, uh, and, and to provide a very inexpensive access from a capital perspective to this brand new and novel platform. The really big change, the biggest change you, you see on the MySeq platform is what we've done with the SBS itself. It's based on the same core technology that's the foundation to thousands of publications and very high quality sequence data that's been generated on Illumina's GA platform initially and then the HiSeq platform. Um, reduced GC bias, much higher cluster densities, better quality of data. It's not just about amount of data, the quality of data on MySeq as it is on HiSeq today with version 3 is clearly better. The MySeq program leveraged all of the learning from the HiSeq 2000 and the manufacturing of that. We created an entirely new design, an entirely new manufacturing process focused on robustness, focused on modularity, and focused on repeatability. The combination of those elements allow us to scale the manufacturing in a way we've never been able to do in the past. Operating a MySeq is both simple and intuitive. If you look at the form factor of the instrument, all of the black areas are the areas that a user would interface with. Beyond that, you can see there's a logic flow to where the flow cell is located, where the fluidics and reagents are located on the bottom right of the instrument, and the touchscreen interface up on the top of the instrument on the right hand side. In any run, um, a user will be given guided instructions with context specific help um, to tell them how to basically set up a run perimeter, how to load a flow cell, how to load the reagents, um, basically how to get everything ready for a run, and then it will do a pre-flight check. So it'll make sure that all of the fluidics are working, um, every other aspect of the system is functioning as it should be. It'll even tell you if you try to do a, a type of application that's not suited to the reagents that are loaded, that you need to either change the reagents or change the program that you run. So it's very, very clever, and it's designed to do things to make your life as a researcher very, very easy. So in the past few years, many applications have been developed using the Illumina SBS chemistry. And all of those are essentially portable to the MySeq system. Uh, but the MySeq system is particularly uh, suited for targeted resequencing, uh, resequencing of small genomes, de novo small genome sequencing, microRNA sequencing, and also 16S uh, metagenomic analysis. And in addition, we think that the system will be used a lot for um, library QC and assay development. So the TrueSeq custom Amplicon application will enable researchers to follow up on cancer genome studies where they can target up to 384 different genes and study 96 samples at a time and validate results they might have seen at the whole genome level across many, many more samples. We know that after the first couple of runs, people won't want to be sitting in front of their instrument to see how things are going. So you can also, through Seek Monitor, assess performance of a run, see what your cl um, cluster densities are like, your estimated output, um, all the quality metrics that people would like to know about. You can actually assess that on any smartphone, um, on an iPad, on another computer. You can do it in another lab, or you can do it down the road at Starbucks. So it's very easy to see how a run is performing. Along the lines of simplification and integration, what we've also done is we've built in primary, secondary analysis and reporting all into the one box. So at the end of a run, you can choose to do all of the primary and secondary analysis on the instrument, or if you wish, you can choose to do it on a separate computer, another server, or even the cloud. It's at your choice. One of the things we're most excited about with MySeq is that it brings next generation sequencing to everyone. This gives us an opportunity to utilize cloud technologies to create a community 
so that users can then store their information, share their information, and also utilize applications that are developed in the cloud to assist with their data analysis. What we've been able to do with MySeq is to take the proven, award-winning technology that we created for HiSeq to apply years of bioinformatics uh, expertise and innovative engineering and to create a brand new platform that we've now been able to take to the individual user.